Hey everybody, Chris State here. Today I'm really excited to show you guys how to purchase a domain. I'm going to show you guys what I think is one of the best ways to buy a domain, maintain a domain. This doesn't actually mean having the website or building the website, but once you get your website made, or whether you, you, know, you just kind of build it locally on your computer, or you, you, know, you have like somebody else build it for you, you're going to want to host it. Now we, I've gone over hosting in my last video, and you guys can check that out. I'll try to throw it up somewhere on the screen here, uh, but... Uh, definitely go check out the video. It's called like hosting a, a website with NetLiffy. But more importantly, you're going to want to buy a domain name. You know, how you go to google.com or, you know, apple.com or whatever you go to.com. Uh, it's very easy for people to memorize those domain names. And plus, they might want to match the name of your business or maybe your personal name themselves. I, you know, I own chrisstate.com. But you want to buy a domain name. Now, there's a lot of things that go into that. But the layman's term or the easy way is that you want to buy a domain and then you want to make sure you're protected. And today I'm going to show you guys what I use. Um, I've gone through a couple of different domain. They're called register registrars or registers. Basically the people that will do the paperwork and all the, the stuff for you and kind of give you an easy management portal to manage your domain. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up what I use here. I, um, I use Google Domains. It says it's a beta program, but I've been using it for a little over a year now. And it's really awesome because... Most of the time, unless you're wanting a really popular domain name, it, you're going to pay around 12 bucks a year. And this is where this key comes in. It's only $12 a year. Now, this gives you, um, this gives you everything that I look for in a domain. I used to host through GoDaddy, and I loved GoDaddy. Uh, I still use it for a couple of things. I'm slowly migrating over to some other services, but I've loved GoDaddy for years because of their customer service. But the one thing that really killed me was their prices. They're very, a very premium service, and you pay a lot for what you're getting. And just to let you guys know, when you buy a domain name, your information, you have to give it, you know, your, your phone number and your address and your email. All the information is public domain and anybody can see that. And so typically what you want is you want an affiliate that represents you. Uh, there's companies out there, legal companies that will basically put their name in front of yours and kind of protect yourself. And this is basically what, what we do is you set your domain as private. Now, a lot of places actually force you or ask you to pay for this. And GoDaddy, you know, you might be paying $15 a year to, to own your domain, but you'll be paying an additional, you know, $10 a year on top of that to make it private. One of the great things I like here on Google Domains is they actually allow you to get that privacy for free. And I'll go into that here in this video. Let's just go ahead and jump into this. I'm only going to be showing you guys today how to essentially how to buy a domain. It's going to be a real quick video. But I'm not going to get into actually setting up the DNS settings. I'm saving that for another video um, here. It's probably going to be my next video coming out. So let's go ahead and do this. So I actually, um, I have some, I have a client that I, I'm doing some work for. And they actually, they're wanting to buy a new bo domain for their podcast. And so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to get this and how I'm going to find this. And actually what we'll do first is I'm going to open up GoDaddy. And I'm going to show you how they, they basically use it. So you can go to GoDaddy.com. And you can click up here. It says "Find Your Perfect Domain Name," and the domain that they're gonna they're gonna want is called brunchbrew.com. Uh, let's remove that space. There we go. And you can see right here, if we pull it up, it's available, and you'll pay eleven ninety nine per year. Um, but that's just your first year, right? And after that, you'll be paying fifteen dollars a year. So you can click Add to Cart, and when you click Continue to Cart. Basically, what happens is they're like, "Do you want a domain protection?" And you're like, "Well, sure." Well, that's $7.99 now, but it's going to go up to $10. And do you want these other protections? And do you want email? They give you all this stuff that you can do, and it just keeps adding money, which is great. If you want to pay it, that's fine. But I like cheap. I like fast. I like reasonable. So you go here to Google Domains, and I'm going to search for the same one, brunchbrew.com. Seems to be auto-completing the spaces here. Um, but let's see. When that pulls it up right here, so you can see right here there's a nice happy smiley face saying it's available. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click add to cart. Now I will let you know uh, through this process here, there's going to be a lot of personal information that I'm going to, I'm going to block out or phase out. So if, if you say, Hey, I'm seeing my address or I'm seeing some personal information here that you didn't have, it's just because I'm whiting it out. I don't, I don't want to give away my address or my billing info. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click view cart here. You're going to use your Google account. Uh, I didn't say that, but you're going to be using your Google account. Um, you can see here now right here is um, they want, it's at letting you basically tell you that uh, privacy is on and it's offered by a third party at no additional cost. You can read the terms of service right there, but it's it's all safe and kosher. 
And then they're saying right here that they're going to turn auto renew on. I usually leave this on just because I don't, what happens is if you don't turn it on and it, you get to the next year and you forget to purchase it, it essentially just means you lose that website. It doesn't mean you can't go back and buy it. No, but it also means that somebody else could go buy it. And I believe once you don't pay for it, it goes into some 60 day purgatory, you know, holding cell where you can't use it for something. So you, you want to just solve your complications. Just leave it on that. It'll send you an email. Be like, Hey, is this, this bill's coming up. So just go ahead and leave that on there. I'm going to click checkout. Uh, let's see what it, let's see what it pulls up here. It might pull up my billing information. So yeah. So the top here, you can see my name. You can also see that it has some personal, um, I'm not going to show you guys, but it does have some personal information here. And then down here, it's saying that I can purchase this right here. I'll go ahead and click buy. And it should refresh. Now, it's actually going to go right to a page where um, it says, right here, it says, do you want to build a website? And they actually have a portal and you can pay for it. Or do you want to set up an email and you can use their Google Suites to pay for it? I'm not going to use, uh, I'm not going to do any of that. I'll be setting up my own personal website on a different server in the future. So I'm going to exit out of here. But what we're going to do is you can see I have a lot of websites here. Uh, we're going to go into that brunchbrew.com. And if you can see after I click on this, you can see right here, it has my personal information and then it shows you what people are going to see when they look it up. So they're going to see this contact privacy Inc. customer. So that's perfect. It's really what I want. Uh, that's just about it for this video. That's as simple as it is. It's buying a domain. I'm going to be showing you guys in the future uh, what these other settings do, what these other tabs do, how to set up a DNS settings. But that's all I got for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you know, do your thing, leave a thumbs down, but please leave a comment down below. I want to answer those. I know this is, seems like a simple video, but I wanted to make sure I put it out there because that for, uh, it'll make sense for the next video. So if you don't have any, uh, thing better to do, like comment and subscribe it really helps me out. And I like seeing people talk and join the community, but I will see you on the next video.